beautiful people, thank you for tuning into my channel. Today we're going to play a review of Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior on the Super Nintendo. Let's do this. Okay, can we be? Right, I think I'm going to go for Ryu, because he was one of my favourite characters back in the day. Let's see if I can remember oh, this. Okay, the classic Hadouken. Yeah. Yeah. Fell right into that trap then, didn't I? KO for the first round. Never seen that before. Okay. Right, so Street Fighter 2 was released back in 1991 by Capcom for the arcades. And I remember back in the day as a kid, I played this for hours and hours with my brothers and my mates. And we had a local video store near us where they had one of the machines installed and it absolutely rinsed me for pocket money but it was worth it when they released this for the Super Nintendo in 1992 that was an absolute game changer for game consoles I think Super Nintendo have actually done a really good job from replicating the arcade version Pretty much Ray and Ken are kind of like the standard people everyone wanted to be. And I'll never forget when I first mastered these moves. Ah, come on. Perfect. Get in. Okay, so each character had a different storyline, but the aim is to get through these eight fighters, and then another four fighters appear, and the overall goal is to try and beat a bison at the end. I do remember when they actually brought a film out of this, Jean-Claude Van Damme, who played Guile, and he was absolute pants. I was high hopes for it, thinking it was going to replicate the game, it's going to be awesome, and it was absolute garbage. So yeah, I think it's one of them films that I'm not going to remember already. Come on. Okay. I do think the Guile soundtrack is the best out of all the fighters. You still listen to this one. Some of that. Some of that. Come on. Oh, damn. He's not messing about this guy. Victory for me. Okay, if you are new to this channel, I do appreciate you dropping by to take a look at this video. And if you do want to keep up to date with all my latest reviews for the retro games, just hit that like button, subscribe button, and leave a comment below of what you'd like me to review next. And I'll do my best to make that happen for you. Okay, let's get back to the game. I used to hate going against this guy when I was a kid. Especially when he did that hundred hand slap. You got stuck in that and literally just wiped it out. Not today.
round two. Fight! Hadouken! Hadouken! That was close, that was very close. Yeah, if I remember right, you had to put it on the hardest difficulty of level 7 to get the official endings for each character. That was really tough back in the day. I'm not going to attempt this now for the review. You can have that back, Ken. Yeah, I remember going against Ken. He had the identical moves. That's right. You. A slow one there for him. My house handed to me here. Yeah, Ken was always a tough guy to beat. I remember that back in the day. We can do this. A slow one. Oh, that was on for a perfect then. That'll do. Winning to win. Yeah, so I do think fish are me. I think my eyes done a fantastic job on this. To replicate the arcade version. Okay, so I'll be arse handed to me. Alright, Ken, I'll be back. Just have me with you. Dare, I will crush you. Continue. Yep. Mind if I do. Stay with Ryan. Determined to beat this guy. Ken can be a tough guy to beat. Just gotta stick at it and give him everything you've got. Yeah, this is another killer soundtrack. Come on, Lee, concentrate. Concentrate. Some of that kid. that. Yeah, this game definitely brought about some fun memories. As I have brought up with the Sega Master System followed by the Sega Mega Drive. And I'll never forget when my stepbrother first brought this on for Super Nintendo. And I was so envious and jealous. I just wanted this console. He just liked to wind me up and there was a story when I was a kid that I'd gone to see my parents 
at the weekend and he took this NES with him and he took it away and I was just devastated because I can't play Street Fighter 2 and apparently I was crying down the phone and he gave it and brought it back home for me to play. I don't remember that and I think he's winding me up but who knows. But if that happened, if you listen George, do apologise. <laughs> Zangief, he was one of the slowest characters, but he was so powerful. And uh, if he got you with that spinning pile driver, you were a goner. But it's one of the most powerful moves in the game. You'd have to get closer to do it. When he did, it was brutal. It's always one of the difficult moves to master that. I remember that, you had to spin the joystick 360 degrees with your punch button and that wasn't always easy to pull off plus you had to get in close proximity of the opponent Round three, fight. come on Sangeef kick his ass Slowly getting the anger this now. Did quite well, but you need more training to defeat me. Okay, let's take on Chumley. You're having a laugh. You're having a laugh. Did not expect that. Okay. Yep, definitely gonna take her for granted again. Underestimated uh, then, Chumley. Come on, final round. And you can. Dragon punch. Come on. Turn out to be a bit of a walk through at the minute. Going through each fighter. Okay, 
hit down sim. He's one of these guys where you definitely have to keep your distance. Games where it can just turn just like that. Come on. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this video up now and give you my final thoughts on this. Okay, so I'd say replay value incredible game still enjoying this even today um, graphic wise done fantastic to replicate the arcade and the sounds I've really enjoyed reviewing this one for you all so I think it's the first go on my channel I'm actually gonna give it a 10 out of 10 it's pretty much a carbon copy of the arcade so yeah 10 out of 10 solid so if you have enjoyed this review, just hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you'd like me to review any further games for you in the future. Just drop me a review and a comment. I'll do my best to make that happen for you. So I have been the Mac Retro Gamer. Take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.